Sometimes there's a little bit of a formatting issue in quiz questions that comes up when students are looking at content and we're going to have a look at what causes that or what can cause it and what we can do to fix it. So let's go into a quiz. This one here will do, we'll go into the questions and we might look at a multiple choice question. So the multiple choice question is saying which software product is used primarily for vector graphics and the student has to choose, is it Adobe Illustrator, Lightroom, Premiere or Photoshop? Now what can happen, and I'll show you this as a, as a good example, sometimes we could have in the content some extra background uh, HTML that you may not realize is there when you've either copied or typed in your answers that may make the format go a little bit strange. So I'm just going to put in a couple of different variations here of things that might might have caused a problem because they are things that often come over or are transferred over. So let's just save changes and I'll show you what I've added in a moment. Let's preview the question and you'll see there that the formatting is a little bit all spaced out. Things have sort of gone a bit crazy with it and it doesn't look right at all. So the first one is obviously bullet points, making sure bullet points are gone. So we do need to make sure that we get rid of those. Then you'll see there's a bigger space here, a smaller space here, and then another bigger space here. Let's go into the question and see if we can, or into the answers and see if we can work out why those extra spacings happened. So jump into our question. And here are the choices down here. To have a look at what's going on in the background, let's go to the code. And you can see here that we've got a paragraph with two breaks and then a paragraph with a break and a paragraph. Now I straight away, without even thinking there, I just started cleaning it up. If you remove the two breaks, the BR, so there's, it's called a line break, you need to get rid of those to remove the extra spacing that sort of pushes those spaces below. But then you have an empty paragraph tag, so a paragraph and then a closed paragraph tag, with a break inside that as well. That causes funny spacing issues. So we get rid of all of those. We can leave it as a paragraph as long as we're consistent in that all of the questions have paragraphs. So when you go to clean those up, just go into each one and check. This one here has a DIR, LTR left. We can get rid of all of that because it's not needed. And there's some extra breaks in there that we didn't need. So again, it's just consistent. We've got up the top here, paragraph with the text, then a paragraph with the text. Then this one, let's just see what this one's got in it. Okay, we've got just the one line break and we can get rid of all of that other information inside the paragraph because it's not needed. Probably should be a whole course on how to do all of this and what to look for. And the last one is our bullet point. So let's just remove the bullet and have a look at the code. And you can see there it's added some pretty fancy weird stuff in there. So one way to fix that is to just highlight the writing, cut that out and then use Control or Command Shift Paste have another look and it's cleaned out a lot of that not everything but a lot of it's been cleaned out and then that only leaves us the last bit which is we can clean up those paragraphs that don't need to be there it's great if you can learn some basic html because it will make your life even easier and there we go now that all looks nice and consistent between all the questions we save changes and we go and preview our question we've still got one that's out Adobe Premiere Pro. So we're going to go and have a look at that in a sec and see what we missed. But the rest of them are nice and even. So Adobe Premiere Pro is our question with the problem. Let's go back. Scroll down. Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's go into the code. And you can see that the first line was okay, but because we didn't open it up and view it properly, we didn't see the rest of the paragraph that's in there. So clear that out. And again, it's all looking nice and consistent. Let's preview. And that looks so much better. And we're all done.